Hey guys, iPad Rich here, and today we're going to tackle a common problem that I hear, and which is, help, my iPad doesn't turn on. And there's a few reasons for that, and let's go over them right now. Usually when people expect their iPad to turn on, they just click the sleep button at the top once. And this is what they expect to see. They expect to see their home button, or they expect to see the home screen, right? So that might not always be true because your iPad might legitimately be turned off somehow. Someone might have turned it off or you might have turned it on mistakenly. And in that case, let's see what happens then. I'm going to hold the sleep button now. I'm not just going to click it once. I'm holding it until I can see this thing pop up where it says slide to power off. So as you see now, it's going to start to power off and it might already be shut down. Cool. So in this case, what you need to do is clicking on the sleep button once isn't going to do anything, right? So what you'd expect to see usually is just your home button pop up or home screen pop up, I'm sorry, is and that's not going to help. What you need to do is do the same thing I did to turn it off and that's to hold your sleep button until you can see the Apple logo come up. When you see this come up, you know that your iPad is starting back up again and from this point on, it should work. Once this Apple logo is done, you should be able to see the home screen with the slide to unlock feature. Okay? And that's one of the things that can happen. There's a few other things that can happen which might not work just by pressing the home button. See, now you see that the home screen popped up. Uh, so, holding the sleep button might not always help and for a certain reason that your battery's dead. And if your battery's dead, all you need to do is just plug in your iPad into your computer or your wall socket or something like that. And you need to wait about 10 to 15 minutes. Usually, if your iPad's not too dead, you'll see a little dead battery in the middle of the screen and it might flash a little bit and it'll have a little lightning bolt go through it or it might just like not have sufficient battery to do that. Either way, plug it in, wait 10 to 15 minutes, and the iPad should automatically go to this screen when it's ready to be used again. And you'll see it's gonna be like a five, 10% charge by that time, okay? So that's pretty much what it is when people have a problem with their iPad not turning on. It's either their iPad is actually legitimately turned off or their iPad is out of battery and it doesn't have enough juice to go into this screen. That's, yeah, so that's what, what it is. Uh, if you're having problems still and it's not turning on, then I recommend going to an Apple store and having a person look at it because they have a little diagnostic tool that can help them check it out. So that's really all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm iPad Rich, and check out my friend iPad Pete by clicking the link in the description below. You guys have a great day.